Hello and welcome to my channel. I am out on a solo wild camp. Well, it would be solo if you guys weren't with me. I'm so glad you're with me. Oh yes, I would be all by myself. I hope you're all feeling strong and well. Got a few things to talk about on this, uh, this wild camp. Got a few extra little bits of gear swapped out for other stuff I'm not carrying anymore. I'm really honing this uh, equipment down. It's quite lightweight now. But uh, remember, I am carrying for two because me and my lass are doing the West Island Way and I want to keep her bag as light as possible. West Island Way, when am I doing the West Island Way? Quite a few of you have been asking when we're doing the West Island Way. And thank you for taking the interest. Now, just in case I haven't mentioned it, it is September, the beginning of September. Me and my lass are doing the West Island Way. Now, let me just tell you a few of the things that I'm going to be banging on about in this vlog. I've got the chest rig here, which I did try out in an earlier vlog, and you might want the verdict on that. You can hear by the tone, maybe it's not great, but I'm still wearing it. Uh, we've got the, uh, the GoPro setup that I'm using, which I've had to really scale down for the West Highland Way. And I'm really happy with uh, scaling these things down and going really lightweight. Normally I just carry too much gear. I've also bought a snug pack quilt and I'm trying that out for the first time tonight. Um, you might already know that I've got the honcho poncho that I have with me as well. So just the honcho poncho and the snug pack quilt. I am a cool sleeper. I think that's how it's phrased. What I'm meaning is um, I don't need to be too warm. I like to uh, stick a leg out and uh, keep my body cool. So hoping these two uh, things are going to work well together and it's just nice to have that extra little quilt to throw over uh, For me and my lass on the West Highland Way My lass will be using a sleeping bag a Van Gogh sleeping bag that goes down to minus four So she should be comfortable in that and we'll see how this snug pack uh, Quilt goes as well and probably a few other little things along the way as well now I wasn't really feeling I wasn't feeling it at all today, uh, coming out to, for a wild camp. I was sat at home watching your videos <laughs> and, uh, and then just thought to myself, there's them that do and there's them that don't. And uh, I like to think that I'm one of them that do. So I am out now instantly feeling much better. It's instant. So if you're just uh, sitting around at home thinking about it, that's not doing you any good. Get your gear packed up and get out there. I'm feeling instantly better. We could get a little bit of rain tonight. That'll be interesting. It's all good training for the West Island Way. Uh, just taking a little breather here and uh, let's just pick up where I left off with this chest rig. This chest rig by Helicon. Helicon Numbat chest rig it's called. And it is fantastic. Just right for the job. Just sits there on your chest. Nice and comfortable with the harness the way it works. Uh, just right for the job. Was it waterproof? No, it wasn't waterproof. Not well, I nearly said not at all. It is quite waterproof. The water ran off for a while. It was extreme conditions on Marsden Moor. The wind and rain was blowing straight into my chest. And uh, by the time I got home, it had got through and the, whole, the inside was, was, was wet. So, uh, disappointed, but it's just like any jacket that's uh, slightly waterproof. Um, I've just put nick wax all over it and I've come up with a solution and basically I found an old camera bag of mine which was quite small and it's a low pro uh, camera bag and that means that it has the rain cover and I took the rain cover off that and it just covers this perfectly so uh, that's my solution and I don't know why Helicon don't just put that on there they've got everything else all these other whistles and bells around it and the uh, straps and uh, bungee cords but uh, no rain cover just a little purpose-built rain cover would be great luckily I have lots of bags and that one I don't use and it was nice and small so the uh, the rain cover fits over this perfectly so problem solved and inside this little chest rig, I've got my binoculars, which I'm really happy that I can actually put my binoculars in there. And at the side of it, I will be putting my camera here, which is the GoPro Hero 9, on the GoPro Shorty with the Sennheiser on-camera microphone. And that's what we'll be using throughout the West Highland Way. And I'll be taking quite a few batteries with me and a power bank. So, so hopefully that will work. Hey, I'll piss that fella off you, children. that does all outdoor vlogs. Oh, my snap. Oh, no. Grey-haired fella. Oh, I mean tramp outdoors. Robert Junker. He's doing West Island Way. No, I did him. Where 
Is he doing West Island way? Not a clue. So there is camp for tonight. Going to make this quick because look at that weather that's coming in behind me. We're going to get some rain. It'll be a good test for the bivy bag, the Rab Ridge Raider tonight. Thought I'd travel light. Really like the Ridge Raider. It's great. Uh, like I say, you're traveling really light. It's only me tonight. I've got plenty of water and I'm going to do some cooking a little bit later on. Something very simple. And I hope to bring you back for that unless it's absolutely hammering it down. Now, GoPro just let me down. I just had to reboot it three times. Um, when I switched it on, it did a long beep and the um, numbers for the takes, uh, I'd done seven already for this vlog. Um, the numbers came up zero, nothing, no media on the card. Well, I knew that there was media on the card. Let me just clean the lens. I knew there was media on the card, so I rebooted it again and uh, it came up with the same three times and I persevered and the fourth time it booted up correctly and all seven takes were there. Just thought I'd let you know that in case your GoPro is, uh, is doing the same and you think you've lost your data. You probably haven't. The media is still on the card. It's just the GoPro's not reading it properly. So uh, persevere, just switch it off and back on again um, <laughs> as many times as it takes. And sometimes you just can't afford to just say, that's it. Uh, you know, I wanted to uh, bring you on this vlog with me, so I persevered. So remember, I am testing out a few little bits and bats uh, tonight. Uh, even this top, this lovely montane top that I'm wearing, brilliant. I'm really warm. I've got one little uh, thin layer underneath and uh, that is keeping me warm right now. Great. And this will dry really fast if it got wet. It is raining a little bit now. Well, I'm feeling a little bit better now because I've got my waterproof jacket on and my trousers. We've got the Berghouse uh, Deluge. I think the Berghouse Deluge and uh, my uh, North Face jacket. <laughs> Plenty of nick wax on it. And these are the waterproof items that I'll be taking on the West Highland Way, by the way. Um, they're not the greatest, but uh, I've been on a bit of a journey, as I said in my last vlog, regarding the waterproof clothing. This is going to have to do. So, look at the fog that's rolling in here. Yeah, it's coming right across the reservoir there. So I will be enveloped in fog very soon. That's the view over the other direction, still quite clear there. But this uh, low cloud is, uh, is rolling in. Looks quite dramatic. I'm gonna try and do some cooking before this, uh, this fog comes. What am I eating? Huh. Well, it's one of these from the supermarket. It's uh, pasta and sauce. Bachelors. It's actually low fat, but you can add butter if you want. Now my last said, just add water, but it says water and a hundred mil of milk. So, it's probably not quite as tasty as it would be, but I tell you what, to say it's just got water in it, it's come out really nice. Mmm. Tasty. Mmm. And that pack's really small, so I might be uh, taking a couple of them on the West Island Way with me. Really nice. Must be great with uh, milk. But what else am I taking on the West Island Way? Well, I did say that we were going to be having a look at this. It's a jungle blanket by Snug Pack. And uh, 
it's just a, a quilt really, a fully insulated quilt and I'm going to be trying it out tonight in the Rab Ridge Raider, the bivvy bag. So uh, I'm interested in that, so the only form of warmth that I've got is my uh, honcho poncho and this little quilt. So I do I have got the Thermarest uh, sleep mat though as well, so um, that should keep me warm enough, even though we've got this fog rolling in. So the water is just about boiled. Let's get a coffee on. So it looks like I'm in for a bit of a wet night. I have slept out in the rain before in the uh, Rab Ridge Raider bivvy bag and it performed really well. I stayed dry. The thing with the bivvy bag is to, to stop the condensation on the inside. Okay, that's enough stirring. So just finished my coffee. I am just hanging about a bit because when you take a bivvy bag with you, you don't want to get in it too early, even though it's raining a little bit, it's not too bad. It's sort of ever changing with this mist coming in. And uh, it's really interesting to watch. And I'm really enjoying being out tonight. And I'm glad you're with me. Uh, yeah, like I said earlier, I wasn't really feeling it back home. Uh, I wasn't really up for it. And I just thought to myself, God, I'm doing the West Island way. Uh, if you're not feeling up to it just one night, uh, how are you going to do that? It's going to be interesting when me and my lass are doing that West Island way. Possibly uh, possibly 10 nights camping out. Will we do it? Um, we are doing about 10 miles a day walking, so we're not setting our sights too high. We might squeeze in a few mile miles. Uh, you only have to do a few more miles each day, if you can imagine. and um, And then you're knocking a maybe a couple of days off. So we will see, we will definitely see. Will we do it? How difficult will it be? Will it be, uh, will it be the, the physical challenge? Will it be the mental challenge? Will me and my last still be together at the end of it? <laughs> I'm sure we will. We are really looking forward to it and I hope you guys are looking forward to it as well. Uh, thank you for following me up to this point. We are almost ready to be getting packed and off to Scotland. So, I've got a night out in the bivvy bag. I tell you what, the, the midges, I don't know whether you can see them. Let me take you, they're swarming. They're absolutely swarming because it's, it's damp. It's not quite raining, it's more of a mist. It's just ideal for these midges. And uh, the midges in Scotland are a lot worse from what I've seen of your videos. I haven't brought any uh, midge spray with me tonight. Wish I had, but I can see them. They're just swarming everywhere. So I might have a bit of a, a dodgy night with the uh, with the midges. Okay, that is enough of that. I'm starting to get bit now. So I will see you in the morning. I hope I get a good night's sleep. I hope there's no midges in the tent. I'll let you know how the snug pack uh, quilt goes, the jungle quilt, in the morning on the way back. We'll have another chat then. So uh, see you in the morning. Now it's obvious by the title that this did not end well. I hadn't actually realised just how much I'd already been bitten by the midges. I did get into the tent and got bitten some more and then when I got out for a wee the swarms were unbelievable. I have not seen anything like that and uh, yeah I just had to pack away and abandon. So uh, yeah I had to go home, hike back, long hike back in the dark and I did roll my ankle. So I'm recovering from that and we will chat some more about this in my next vlog. Hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have enjoyed it, give me a like. Consider subscribing. I don't know where I'll be next time, but I know I want you guys with me. So until the next one, bye.